Hi, I'm Sheldon Hockheiser, corporate historian at AT&T, and I'd like to welcome you to the new AT&T Science and Technology Innovation Center. Here, we display our amazing 142-year history of innovation and how we've used those innovations to help people communicate better, more efficiently, and at greater distances. We've divided the museum up into four thematic sections. First, let's take a look at the innovation section. We have replicas of three of the items at the very first telephone call. We have the transmitter, the telephone bell used to speak. We have the receiver, his assistant Watson down the hall used to hear. And we have Thomas Watson's notebook where he recorded the first sentence ever said over the telephone. Next, let's take a look at a sound motion picture projector from 1929. AT&T invented the technology that brought sound to Hollywood and partnering with a then small studio named Warner Brothers brought it to commercialization. Next, we have Telstar, the first active communication satellite. Let's turn to switching. That's how the message gets from a specific sender to the person he wants to communicate with. We have two old switchboards from the days when all telephone calls required an operator. Next, let's turn to transmission. It's how a message gets from one point to another. We have a whole range of transmission media from a sample of wire from the first New York Boston line of 1884 through fiber optic cable, which is the main media used today. Finally, let's turn to instruments. For the most part, we're dealing with the history of the telephone. And we have an array of telephones from several wooden wall sets typical of the 19th century up until answering machines from the 1980s. And finally, an array of cell phones from the first commercial cell phones in 1983, which for the most part permanently sat in a car, to the original iPhone, the first smartphone. We partnered on that with Apple. Now you've seen a brief overview of our 142 year history of innovation and how we've used that innovation to help people communicate. And what we've done in the past helps inform what we do today. And if you walk through these doors, you will go from seeing our rich heritage to how we are applying those principles to leading edge technologies today and in the future. I hope that a visit here will help you understand and appreciate our 142 year history of innovation and applying that innovation to help people communicate and will help you understand how that informs and helps shape the way we are innovating for today and for the future.